In this video, I will present every single book that X had on his bookshelf. Let's go. The Occult Book, A Chronological Journey from Alchemy to Wicca by John Michael Greer. This book takes you through ancient alchemy to modern Wicca and really teaches you the history behind the stuff and the practices of witchcraft. We know that X was into occult knowledge as he performed demonic rituals in jail. And I'll play a little clip right here just, just to show y'all who haven't seen it. Yes, I can hear you. See it. Summoning Hecate, Hecate, Hecate goddess of crossroads, darkness, witchcraft, wisdom, and, and the moon. Tell me how to spell the, um, the, the name summoning. The H-ray. H-E. Darkness, witchcraft, wisdom. Wisdom and what? The, and the moon. And the moon. Please come to me. Huh? Please come to me. Please. Please come to me. Please. Please. Hecate. In this clip, X is summoning a demon called Hecate into his life in some type of ritualistic movement. This book teaches you practices and really beliefs and the true history behind it. It may not give you the overall outline on how to do it, but it teaches you the history behind it. Book number two, Fingerprints of the Gods, The Evidence of Earth's Lost Civilization by Graham Hancock. This tells you about ancient civilizations and forgotten civilizations and the history of the Earth. X wants to understand where he came from and humans in general and what their motives are and what they want. By reading a book like this, this truly gives you insight into how people act, why they act that way, and where everybody is from. So this gives you insight into the lost civilizations of Earth, as well as the human civilization in general. The third book, The Synchronicity Key by David Wilcock. This goes into synchronicities. A synchronicity is an occurrence of a meaningful coincidence that does not seem to have a cause. It's situations in life, let's say the radio is playing and the radio broadcaster says, today I am turning 52 years old, and you look out the window and the license plate in front of you has 52 on it. Situations like that. Situations where things seem to align too perfectly for it to be a coincidence. That things seem to align in line with each other and right after each other. Book number four, The Book of Mastery, The Master Trilogy, Book One by Paul Selig. This introduces readers into awakening, what self-awareness really feels like, what it feels like to truly understand that you are a moving part of this world and that you have abilities outside of your own understanding. This teaches you evolution. I'm sure X is reading this later in his life when he had blue hair because this is something that interrelates with the knowledge that he was spreading on his lives. This teaches you how to get higher levels of consciousness and truly evolute yourself into the best version of yourself. And this book outlines for the reader on how to take steps into evolving themselves into their best versions. Book five, The Good Witch's Daily Spellbook by Pat Patty Wigington. Now this book teaches you how to actually perform the rituals that I was mentioning earlier. This book teaches you the witchcraft behind it, what type of things you have to say, what type of objects you need in front of you, how the spell actually works. We know X is truly into this due to our research into this topic, as well as other videos on my channel. If you're interested, feel free to subscribe and check those out. But this book really teaches you about mindfulness, it teaches you about the power of energy, it teaches you on how to use witchcraft spells. Book number six, The Romance of Sorcery, the famous exploration of the world of the supernatural by Sax Romer. This book teaches about the supernatural, it teaches you about the things that cannot be seen, things that are real but cannot be seen, and things that are outlined in society and that you are told are not real. Those type of things. Things such as witches, things such as ghosts, things such as demons, things that you feel like don't exist but that actually do exist. You just don't see them. You can't physically experience it, but you still experience it in some type of sense. You may not smell it, you may not see it, you may not hear it, but it is still there. And this book delves into this and truly delivers to the reader on how these things work, what they are, and why they are in this world, why they are in our reality. Book number seven, Saint Germain on Alchemy, Formulas for Self-Transformation. Alchemy is the process of tr transmutation. Transmutation is the changing from one state to another state, changing a thought from a bad thought to a happy thought, changing an object from hot to cold, changing an object from cold to hot, changing things. You want to change the way you live your life. You want to transmute yourself. And this book on alchemy teaches you on how to transmute yourself. It teaches you on how to take the proper steps in your life to transmute yourself. It's the knowledge of knowing that you can transmute yourself that kind of pushes you forward to transmute yourself. Once you realize that you can actually unlock your full potential, you start to take steps forward into unlocking your full potential. You start to realize that, hey, yo, maybe there's something I can actually do to push myself forward. And this book helps you achieve that. Book number eight, Wikipedia, White Magic for Modern Witches. This book offers further Wiccan practices, further witchcraft practices, spells, different objects to hold around you during a ritual and how to perform these. We know that X was into this because on a jail call in the 76 jail calls that is on the internet, X stated the following. There's a witch. I did actually start an actual witch. I had fucked the witch when I was in Oregon. She was telling me the universe loves me. 
like the he had rituals that were done and he truly knows how the stuff works and for him to know how the stuff works he read this book book number nine the goodly spell book old spells for modern problems by lady passion and Dixie Dearman. This book teaches you further spells, deep witchcraft spells that you can use for your own likings. I don't promote any of these, X was into this kind of stuff and I'm just bringing the book into your attention. These magical practices say that they help with your modern dilemmas and help you push your life forward. That's up for the reader's interpretation. Book number 10, Atlas of the Skies, Journey Between the Stars and Planets into the Discovery of the Universe. This book takes you through the universe. It takes you to the cosmos and gives you accurate maps on what things actually look like. We know that X was truly trying to understand the universe and look into what, how things are, why they are like that, and what they really look like. And this book offers him that insight that he was craving. It also illuminates the universe and helps you better understand what is going on and what it looks like and what exactly is the Milky Way, what exactly is our solar system. This book does that. The Osborne Internet Link Science Encyclopedia with a thousand recommended websites by Peter Tichel. This book gives you an encyclopedia of different websites to go on that help you gain knowledge in this world about science, about history, about different things that you might be interested in. We know that X never went to college, he never went post high school, and this book may have been something that he was using in order to gain knowledge that people in school gain. This could have been his way of learning in his life and to truly understand why things work, such as different business techniques, such as, such as science, such as history that type of stuff. Book number 12, The Element Encyclopedia of Witchcraft, the complete A to Z for the entire magical world by Judica Ellis. This is also a witchcraft book that gives you different practices, different traditions, as well as spells like the other books. But this one has a lot of tools and a lot of historical figures in the book. And it's a great resource in order to fully understand what witchcraft is all about. This further shows his interest in witchcraft and into the unseen world that we live in. Book number 14, Secrecy World, Inside the Panama Papers, Illicit Money Networks, and the Global Elite by Jake Bernstein. This book takes you into the Panama Papers. We know that X was into hidden knowledge. He was into things that we cannot see. We even know this since his name is called XXX Tentacion, which translates into Spanish, unknown temptation. Unknown, the big key, unknown, things that we do not know. This book also goes into the unknown, but in a different aspect, in a historical aspect. It goes into different shady, shady practices that have occurred and the influence that politics holds worldwide. This is something that he was truly into and to look at different ways that we are controlled, different ways that we are put under a system and held to our own capabilities. Book number 15, The Magic of Believing, The Classic Guide to the Miracle Power of Your Mind by Claude Bristol. This is interconnected with synchronicities as this book talks about how to make your mind work. With the synchronicities book, it was teaching you about synchronicities. This book furthers those conversations and outlines how your brain actually makes these and how it processes them. This book also teaches you about positive belief and, and introduces you into manifestation in a positive standpoint. It empowers the reader to achieve their goals and actually start goal setting, actually start manifesting in their lives and realize that you have the power to do such to start doing it. The Law of Success, the Master Wealth Builder's complete and original lesson plan for achieving your dreams by Napoleon Hill. Napoleon Hill is a classic for manifestation included with money. He is someone that's written a lot of books, a lot of different books that really help you change your mindset and realize that money is something that can be manifested due to the experience and the way that you really handle and handle yourself in this reality. He interviewed a lot of different successful people in his time and he outlines all of their different strategies in this book. Highly recommend for you to pick up this book. It's one of my favorite books that I've read in my life and it's something that's really changed my life. It helps you take actions towards your success and actions towards your motivations or to properly hold yourself accountable. Book 17, The Power of Eight, Harnessing the Miraculous Energies of a Small Group to Heal Others, Your Life and the World by Lynn McTarget. This book talks about the power of the eight, the power of the eight life path, who, as we learned on GG33's interview, Cleopatra is. X is a 33 life path. What is a life path? A life path tells you how your life will pan out in a certain circumstance. It tells you what you can look for in your life. Are you here to grow? Are you here to grow other people? Are you here for love? Are you here for experiences? Your life path tells you that. How do you calculate your life path, you may be asking? You calculate your life path by ta taking your birth month and adding up those two digits, taking your birthday numbers, adding up those two digits, and taking your year and adding up those four digits. Once you add up those digits, add up the bigger numbers. Add up your all those numbers. Add them up one by one, and you will get your life path. X was born on January 23rd, 1998. January is zero one. Zero plus one is one. 
23. 2 plus 3 is 5 plus 1 is 6. 1998. 1 plus 9 is 10 plus 9 is 19 plus 8 is 27. Taking the 6 that we previously had and adding it to the 27, we come to 33. X was a 33 life path. There are other 33 life paths such, such as Albert Einstein and Thomas Edison, if you add up their numbers as well. 33s are usually ones that make a generational impact in this world. But you can calculate your own life path by doing the same combination that I just did. Book 18, Charlotte Gregg's Criminal Masterminds, Evil Geniuses of the Underworld. This also delves into notorious figures and how they've outlawed and how they've broken rules and escaped in the criminal landscape. X was trying to look into dark realities that we don't really see in the modern day, that we don't really see covered in the news and how they existed and how they really held themselves. Book 19, A Thousand Dreams, Discover the Meaning of Dream Symbols, Secrets and Stories by David Fontaine. This explores rich symbolism in our dreams and how to interpret our dreams. It gives us a guide on what our dreams actually are saying to us. We know that X was interested in spirituality, different aspects of spirituality such as astral projection and chakras, and also understanding his dreams, knowing that what type of dreams he lives in his life and experiences, what does that say about his daily life, what does that say about where he's going, what does that say about the future of his life. Book 20, Change Your Brain, Change Your Life by Daniel G. Amen. This presents how your brain works. This book breaks down how your brain works on a scientific level about what they know about the brain and how to alter your brain in order to fully get the best out of it. To notice that bad habits are just different nerve connections in your head and that by you breaking those connections, you are in essence changing your brain and you are in essence changing your life and you are manifesting different realities for yourself. Book 21, Behold a Pale Horse by Milton William Cooper. This book is a controversial conspiracy theory book that tries to understand where we come from, why we are here and why we are under power. Why are we under a system where we have to wake up and go to work? Why are we under a system where we are forced to go to education? Book 22, Isaac Linsky's Eyes Wide Open, Overcoming Obstacles and Recognizing Opportunities in a World That Can't See Clearly. This book talks about resilience and overcoming adversity. Mentally training yourself for a battle that's tough and to train yourself to become better mentally and to hold that situations will come, but it is up to you to properly react to those situations. Book 23, The Magic by Rhonda Byrne. This book is a transformative book. Similar to The Secret, this book dives into on how this reality works in a sense and they try to give you an overlapping outline of the magic that you do hold in your life, which is also just the law of attraction. The law of attraction being that your thoughts influence your reality, that the way that you think about things is really going to change the outcome of your life. This book further takes a deep dive into that and installs in you a different way of thinking and a different way of living your life. Book 24, Voices of the Winds by Margaret Edmonds. This book dives into Native American myths. It tries to look at ancient folklore in a different light. If you read this book and you've also read different stuff from history or different stuff in spirituality, you will see overlaps. You will see why something actually kind of starts to make sense that the Native Americans believe such I also learned such in spirituality and you see the interconnectedness of different topics, which can have an aha moment in yourself and a eureka moment that X was clearly trying to achieve through reading this. Book 25, The Power by Rhonda Byrne. This is also another book similar to the last one that I mentioned about the law of attraction, but this book helps you grow your thoughts and to believe in yourself, installs in that belief in you that you can go achieve anything you put your mind to, because I assure you, you truly can. Book 26, The 48 Laws of Power by Robert Greene. This book is a game changer. I've read this book twice. This book teaches you on how to not fall under a system, how to hold control in a situation. I've also made a series on this channel about the 48 Laws of Power that I will link right here. And this really breaks down every single, single piece of this book very clearly. This book will really change your life, I assure you. Book 27, the only astrology book you'll ever need by Joanna Martine Wolfork. This book goes into zodiac signs, what they mean, what your life path means based on what time you were born what your birth chart says about you and what this really outlines for you in the rest of this life and what's to come for you. This is looking for the future. I know X was truly looking into this as he was an Aquarius who was entering the age of the Aquarius. And I truly believe that with the knowledge that we know that he was into Wicca, he was into spirituality, astral projection, dreams, being into astrology isn't out there. Book 28, The Dictionary of Dreams, Every Meaning Interpreted by Linda Shields. Now this book takes theory, this book takes Sigmund Freud's theories, Henry Bergson's, and tries to further understand the dream realm and what exactly dreams mean. We know that he also read different dream books, so this one interrelates with that as he was trying to, she was trying to learn the dream realm. Book 29, Mythology, Myths, Legends, and Fantasies by Alice Mills. This book looks at ancient stories, ancient civilizations, and tries to interpret them and what they were trying to do and what they were doing. Looking at modern stories, looking at modern spirituality, 
spirituality, we can learn a lot from books like this as we have some things in spirituality that interrelate with old texts and old ancient civilization. I know X was trying to make the connections too from the Kabbalion, from the master key system and, diff and different books. Book 30, The Secret Language of Birthdays, Personology Profiles for Each Day of the Year by Gary Goldschneider. This book helps you understand what life path you are on. Based on your birthday, what is to come for you in this year and how everything is going to pan out for you. X believe in numerology, where numerology is the study of numbers to see different situations that occur in your life, to see the influence of numbers in your life. So this book furthered his knowledge on that standpoint. Book 31, The Master Key System. X promoted this book in this clip right here. <laughs> Laws of the Universe. <laughs> get the master key. And this was the book that we were all looking at when we looked at X. The Master Key System was something he kept promoting in his different studies. The Master Key System really just helps you look at your thoughts in a deeper sense and understand where your thoughts come from and how to control your reality. It's similar to the other books on this list, but the Master Key System takes a good deep dive and it's very good for beginners. Book 32, Cindy Dale's Complete Book of Chakras. Your definite source of energy center knowledge for health, happiness, and spiritual evolution. This book gives you an understanding of your chakras. And if you're truly interested in everything that X study with this book, I highly recommend for you to click on this video right here as I break down everything that we know about X and chakras.